don't remember my father at all, but I do remember when we went back to Wollstonecraft and stayed there, uh, it would have been about the time, I think, when my father was in hospital, because I can remember my mother came to the door where my brother and I were asleep in that back bedroom there, and opened it and sort of looked at us and made a hurry departure. But we had staying with us uh, a woman who we used to call Miss King, who was sort of uh, hired by my mother and father to teach us as little children up uh -huh. at Cookwell. And so when, I can't remember Cookwell at all, but when we came back from there, she came, because my father uh, uh, was ill, do you know the tragedy that he went through? He went to Germany to have his problem fixed. That was uh, myasthenia gravis, wasn't only, it? Yes, myasthenia gravis, only to find that the drug they gave him in the end had not been tried by anybody else and ended up killing him. Yes. And he was home for 10 days, I think, before he died. So, so you'd already moved from Crookwall to, to live in Wollstonecraft at that stage? During that time, while well, he was to be away and come back. So and you I must could, have only yeah, been about three then. And my, my first view of my mother at that time was to open the door and look at my myself and my brother in that bedroom and then shut again. And we didn't see much of her for quite a while. Right. If the school was at North Sydney in those days. And then when I got to school age, I used to go over there for half a day and my grandfather would be waiting at the gate to walk me home all that way from <gasps> Bay Road all the way back to Wilson Cross. Shirley Road. And so he did that for quite a while until such a time as I could get home, to stay the whole time and come home with the lane. So right, and you girls had walked down the hill home. Yeah, it was quite a distance. I bet. Yeah, from, from where, the, where the school was too. So then you would have gone then, there was a time you went on down to um, Barrel or Mittagong to school? Gigs, Did I go? Boarding school. Yes, but I didn't go there till much later. Mm. I went there, I think I was 13, and this was during the war, 1942 or 3 or right. something like that. And uh, my, Elaine was still it was in Sydney, but it was my grandparents who had uh, driven around that area because the, the, the uh, war had ended, and they had a car and a driver, and somehow. They called into that school at, at Mossvale and came home and said to my mother she ought to be going there. So it was all arranged and that's where I went. So you were but, the only one that went away to boarding school yes, like that? Yes. So and how old were you then, do you three, think? Three years. You're the last three years last of high years, school, so yes, probably 14. There was no high school certificate, we just did the leaving plus a year plus the uh, leaving certificate. So you would have left about 16. Yeah, 13, 14, 15 was the time. 14, 15, 16. Yes. Yeah. And then from there, um, we were still living in Wilson Car. Yeah, your mum had stayed all that she time. She stayed, but she had to stay by this time because the her parents were getting old. And yes. there was no help. We had help for a little while and <coughs> different uh, people came because, again, it was during the war. Mm. And so uh, she, my mother stayed there and sort of helped out. By this time, my grandmother had fallen down the stairs and broken the hip and, of course, couldn't go down the stairs again. So it was a sort of a very hard time for my mother, really, because I can still see it to this day. Going up those stairs, which were two very steep, well, long, you know, two, two of those stairs, with the tea tray in the morning, morning tea in bed. For your mum. For your grandmother. For the two, for my grandmother and grandfather while he was still alive. So when you remember being at boarding school, Mum, can you remember any of the, the good and the bad of the boarding school? Oh, it, it was, on the whole, it was good because um, being in the senior school, yes, you know, not being a junior, we slept in a, in a, outside in a, in, a, in a special, with sort of a building. It was away from the other part of the school. And we, we slept upstairs, we, because by that time, you know, I was a senior in that place, and we'd sleep outside. And we had a little cubicle between us, two of us, no bigger than this corner of this room, 
in which I had my friend Bavise. I don't know whether you ever met her. I don't think I have met her. But she, of course, was non-stop talk, had been left in boarding school from the age of two onward, had so many funny stories to tell that I think I laughed my way through <laughs> that, <laughs> that part of my thing. And in fact, I think she was just the medicine we needed yes. in that place. But it was very good and I, I really did like going to that school. Oh, that's it, good, Mum. It worked well. So your mum had stayed in Wollstonecraft all that time, but then she moved after your grandfather died? No. She stayed on? We, we all stayed on. Yes, OK. We all stayed on there for quite some time. Um, Bill went and worked with his uncle, Colin, in the drapery. And... Um, he went to university for one year, just after the war ended. Yes. And I went the same time, because, it was, and of course, I finished my three years there and then got a job teaching at the uh, Children's Hospital. Camperdown? Camperdown, Nick somewhere Lee. in Camperdown, yes. Yeah. Somewhere there, and uh, it's the, yes, it was the Children's Hospital was at the back of the main road. And I used to go there every day and work in pathology. Right. Made good friends there. It was very nice, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, and then, of course, um, John came along. And we, <laughs> so that went on for five years. So that was while you were both at university? Yes. Is that right? It was, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were both at university. John did an extra year. And then straight after that, we went overseas. Mm. And uh, we got married over there. Mm. Well, he went first, and then I went on a wonderful old boat. It nearly fell apart, or kept thinking it'd fall apart. The old lawyer, and it was uh, two steam tunnels, and they burned coal. Mm. I tell you, it, and it had a deck that would be th 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 out the front that would be twice the size of this room. Wow. And of course, we used to dance and do all sorts of things. Oh, we had a wonderful time. When Six weeks sick? at sea. Oh, how lovely. What a holiday. Yeah. Did you get seasick? No. No. Couldn't afford the time to get to No, far too many parties to get to. <laughs> it was the girls all arranged sort of the wedding and I'm, we had to find the, the fellow who married us and we had to put suitcases in three, three different houses that we never even knew who owned them just so we could get married. Oh. It was some sort of English custom that you oh. had to have three people speak for you. Oh, and the okay. least you had to do was say you'd been and seen them. So John had to pop us three suitcases around the district. Oh. Oh. Well, of course, you <laughs> you can imagine the wedding, the fuss with all those girls in there getting me ready to be married. Oh, for goodness sake. So, so anyway, that what we did. Then we went off on our honeymoon. Which was around Europe. Isle of Wight. Yeah. So how many years were you in England altogether from oh, when you went uh, over? About uh, what, 18, year, 18 months, 18 to 20 months, I think it was. You did some travel in Europe? Yes, we did. We, uh, by this time, when John had bought a car. What sort of car was it? Oh, you remember? I don't know. It was Prefect something. Was it? Ford Prefect, a funny little car. And we used to, <laughs> we took this across. On the ferry? On the ferry to France. And I can remember when we got into... It was all very good. We'd camp. Mm. We'd put up a camp. It was about as big as this table or less. So you travelled around Europe in the little prefect. In the little car, yeah. Camping and living on a... Yeah, that's right. We did. And a few pounds, pounds, a few quid. No, it was, it, was, it was really good fun. We enjoyed that. So mm. then you came back. You both agreed to move back together on the ship to Australia. We were married then. Yeah. Yes, and you came back in what year would it have been? Have you got any idea? It would have been... Um, I married in 51, it would have been 52, October 52. All right. And we came back and went and lived at Wollstonecraft with uh, my um. mother. And Gran was there too, but she couldn't get up and down stairs by that time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I think for the next 12 months, we spent driving around places like this and elsewhere to find a block of land. And we found this and then uh, decided to put a house on it mm. with the help of my uncle, who was a, a, an architect who built the most, yeah, well, nothing to what it is now. It was very small, 
documents. Yes, I've yeah. seen the pictures. Don't They're good. It was a little, out the back. little rectangle, basically. Nothing, on, absolutely, and nothing on top. Yeah. So that that's what we did, and then <clears throat> after a little while, um, you came along after Andrew, after Andrew, mm. and um, then I went back to work. Did you? Mm. So where were you working after I was born? What, how did that play out? Was I think it? I worked at Sydney University after that. Right. But I'm not sure, I can't pick the date for when no. I actually went back to work. It might have been after, it might have been much later than that. I can't yeah. put a date on when I went back to work, but I know I did. Yes. And I worked there then until, um, what happened, why did I stop work? Uh, I think the whole thing shut down. I think, I think Dad retired though too. That wasn't that oh, yes, that's right. that time. Oh, retired, and we decided that we'd do other things. Yes, absolutely. So that's, that's what happened, mm. and that was all very good because it was uh, it was nice. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed yes. working. Yes. Anyway, so then we've just sort of added bits here and bits there to this place, and uh, then we finally did the top floor. Yes. And uh, from there on, we stayed. Stayed put. That's stayed been... put. Well, yes, yeah, so you haven't had any major changes here for probably 40-something years, probably. nothing major. Just, you know, you've done up yeah. the kitchen and the bathroom, yeah. but you haven't done any structural big jobs. No, we did do the kitchen and the bathroom. Yes, yes, that's yeah. right. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. My memory of going to Mount Victoria was you, way back you had a very funny-shaped Austin bluey grey Aust A40 oh, or some the terrible A, The car. A40 that yeah. I had. And, but, but the three of you had crammed at the back. We'd fit in the back and I don't know how it worked that in time Mal came and he was in a basket and Graham would be in the front. I don't know how we fitted. <laughs> <laughs> but it was before no, seatbelts. Oh, I know how you fitted. <laughs> the two of you, you and Andrew, got put on a train. Ah, okay. Well, anyway... Somehow Graham was there nine times out of ten because yes. Dad would be behind working. Yes, but maybe and yes, you'd but head I up. think you I think he might come be, separately. I don't know how you got there unless you came by train. I know we did go and pick you up. Do you remember that? I yeah, vaguely I remember going on the train with Dad. Unless they waited and John mm. took, took you up, I don't know. Yes, but it was lovely to go on those walks with Graham there because she she really appreciated the flowers up there. Oh yes, she loved it. I have a very clear experience of her getting terribly excited about the daffodils and jonquils and those little white, um, what were they called, the little white flowers that were bulbs as well. Yes, I know, I've got some up to um, Yes. Snowdrops. Snowdrops, that's right. Sort of thinking it does flow because our holidays then became quite sailing focused. When we were little, we used to do a lot of things up at Westwood, which was the family mm -hmm. home. And, and then we finally went, if you can remember, Mum, to Bullumbate. Oh, that was marvellous. Bullumbate mm. was the most marvellous holidays we had. Mm. And who, Malcolm was a baby then, mm. and he came up in his basket. I don't mm. know what we did with him all the time, but it, he was 12 months old. Anyway, that was good fun. Well, you, and we have photos to prove it, thanks yes. to Dad. Yes. Mal there in nappies, helping yes. Liz and I milk a cow. Yes. So he toddled around beside us too and yeah, did whatever yeah. we were doing, yeah. I think. I don't know what we did all day there, but... Well, we'd get in that boat of Gracie's and go to oh, the beach. Right. We used to... And fancy taking a, a baby on... In, the, oh, not? in no. that boat. Leaky boat. <laughs> Across the Never Never. No rescue boats in sight. No, that was good fun. And she was such a, a wonderful person, wasn't she? Mm. No, we, that worked very well. We went there several times. Mm. Kids all, you all enjoyed it and learned to swim. Well, absolutely. One nearly drowned. That's right. One of the boys nearly drowned mm. and the other family. That all worked all right. And then it wasn't that long after that you seemed to get involved in sailing. That's right. Because I can remember when we used to go to Bullen Bay on the Mile Lakes that we had the first Northbridge Junior then. And it was a big thing one day. Andrew sailed all the way home from Johnson's Beach on his own. From Johnson's Beach to where? Back to um, Bullumbate. And then we started going to Lake Macquarie after that, you see. Oh, so yeah. that kind of all was a bit of the, yeah. the end of the, the beginning of the sailing was yes. the end of Bullumbate and the start of going yes. up to Lake Macquarie. Oh, well, those were the days, weren't they? Mm. With the boats down by the water. And every day out in having a race in our North Bit Seniors, mm. I could still picture going round 
Diana, mm. Puba. Puba. But better still, if you went right over to the hospital, you would get a nor'easter going right up, right up beside on the other side of the island. It was magic sailing. Mm. You'd be out, you know. You, well, I wouldn't have a bum touch him of the thing, really. Mm. And you were there a lot of the time, but not all of the time. Yes. <coughs> so each day on. Well, that's right. So Dad had often ducked back down to Sydney. Yeah. But then you moved from sailing the Northbridge Seniors. You had a couple of them and raced quite a lot at mm. um, both Lake Macquarie and the Northbridge Sailing Club. Yeah. Carrying the boats down that terrible staircase and everything oh god but anyway then you must have got your first bigger boat you know a proper i think you got a little hunter 19. yes you? a hunter 19. well we didn't take that to lake macquarie did we no no not well, we sailed up, up, sail up the coast we did we sailed it uh, uh, ken and i sailed it up oh that's right oh. and then after the hunter which was your next boat do you remember i don't the war, warship? Oh, yes, yeah, the warship. 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 Warlock. Yeah, yeah. Warlock. Warlock. That was a lovely little boat. It's a nice boat. And then you had another one, Galadriel. Galadriel. Yeah. Served with the 28 foot old boat. And then well, Steve the, Kill. That was the Kiel. first one that had an inboard engine. Then much later. And then, then you, chat, you went and got Galadriel, which I can't, you didn't seem to have it for as long as you had your final boat, which was the. Um, was it called again? Delilah. Delilah. 31. The East Coast 31, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. That's the brand? Yeah. 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 You had that for a long time. We did. And it was a good boat and we sailed that up to Lake Macquarie, Port Macquarie with the, no, Lake Macquarie with, no, where did we go? Up to Lake Port, Macquarie. Port Stevens. Oh, we took it to Port Stevens. That was <coughs> as far as we went. Yeah. And we went to Jarvis Bay in it. So nice. that was what we, we did, the two of us. Yeah. And that worked very well. I, I've seen some fabulous photos of you with your sailing buddies when you'd all raft up. And oh, I, sometimes I can't believe how many of you would raft up. Oh, you know, yeah, what was the right. record, do you think? How oh, many boats? 20, the 20 of one of them. 20 boats I think so. Up. I think there's one that we got there's here somewhere. Quite a few pictures. With 20. Mm. And it was really good, you know, that we, we really enjoyed that. We'd go up to the fish markets. And I think it was at the fish markets where you got that huge line of boats. Mm lined up. Right. And we all of course went out and got fish and then we used to what we do, we'd row ashore and light a fire. I don't know how we did that and cook our fish. Yes. And it was uh, great. So you'd anchor off the park yeah. there or something. Yeah. Huge, Black huge Black 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 Bay or somewhere. Black Bay. Mm. Huge Black Bay. You'd never get away with doing that now. And what you'd all tie up together. We all tied up together. We'd so you could jump from boat to boat. No, we jumped from boat to boat, yes, mm. but we Went ashore and took people to take yes. things to cook. cook yes, on. yes. So we buy our fish, go over in, in our dinghy, yes. go and get the fish, and then come back. Yes. And, and go ashore. It was, we yes. did that several yes. times. I think you're right, you wouldn't get away with that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> saying, no, no, too dangerous. Just... No, it all worked out. We had to lie there. Mm -hmm. I don't remember doing that in Calabria. But we had to lie there, she was a good ship. Mm. Yeah, mm. and that's the, then the time came when we wanted to do something else. Well, one of the things I can remember um, surprised me that you kept the boat was, but you were dismasted. In you lost the mast in you one day on um, Delilah, and I thought, oh, that might be the end. Goodbye, Delilah. I'm too hard. But you actually seemed to get it all re-rigged and got a second second wind. Mm. And enjoy. I can't think of anything that. I'd like to talk about that we haven't already. I think, um, you know, the, the growing up, the children all just seemed to fall into place. Yeah. Everything we did, there didn't seem to be strife in, in anything at all. I think we've been exceptionally lucky in uh, the way, the fact that we were close here and the, the children were happy to stay here until they had better things to do and suited us. No. I can't think of anything else I'd like to change in my life. I think there's been a lot of change in your lifetime, though. When you think about what's, you know, just talking about the boat being an example of how technology's changed and, um, yeah. you know, you've gone from having a little telephone in the hall yes, with a cord exactly. yes. um, to now 
you know, mobile phones and computers and iPads. And yes, and emails and all that sort of thing. Yes, made a tr tremendous difference. And internet banking, you probably do most of your banking online now, Dad. Yeah, yeah that's right. All that. Well, we we job tape with all that. I've evaded it if I can. Well, I noticed when you were talking about your life just then, how there was this event, you were on the ship, and there was that school you went to, and this, and you enjoyed it all. You said, that was such fun, and because that was good. And yes. It's the sense I get it from what you're describing of your life is that you've really had a lot of enjoyment along the way. We have. Mm -hmm. We have, there's no doubt about it. I can't think of one time when we took our boat up the, up the coast or up to Port Stephens or whatever that we didn't enjoy it. And think about it, you know, even after we came back, how nice it was and all that stuff. Mm. I just think we've been extremely lucky. I do. And of course, all your children have been a good support always. When we weren't sailing anywhere, Saturday had come. Oh, well, we few few phone call. We'll meet you down in the bay. Mm. So we'd go get our dinner, take it on, get it all ready to take down. Someone to buy barbecue, sometimes, you know, on their boat. And then the next morning, we'd probably row ashore somewhere and climb up Have that bushwalk and, and go for a walk around that thing, whatever you call it there. Do you mean yeah. over there at Harold Reed Reserve? Yeah. Somewhere around that yes, area, Harold that Reed. Yes, end of Harold Reed Reserve. It's so beautiful. Right. And we do that Saturday after Saturday, mm. especially in, in the weekend. Some of us go up, up further up. Some of those friends, Mum, you know, one of the things that I've sort of picked up on is you've actually known some of your friends for a very long time now, yeah. but your, oh, mm. some of your cruising sailing, Middle Harbour cruising friends you still see regularly, well, don't you? Well, we see them regularly on a second Monday of every month, mm. and a lot of, well, I suppose we get about 20 mm. a night. That's beautiful that you've had that long-term <coughs> connection <coughs> and you've you know, shared so much fun with people. Yes. That's a really and nice community. Same thing, yes. To have that. Yes, so, yes, I think, I think Ken particularly has that too. Yes. He, you know. Where he lives in Greenwich there. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's very lucky. Oh, I think Andrew does in the Hunter Valley. I think he's made some good long-term friends now in the Hunter. Mm -hmm. That could. And um, now he's got a good circle of friends, and I feel we've got a good circle where we are in our little valley, and we've all been lucky with that. You know, you settle and you get to know people through various interests. Yeah. Yeah, but the monthly meet, you know, we sometimes wonder uh, why we do it, because it's a long time since I don't think any of them have a boat. One or two might have a boat. And it's really sort of, we're really just a group of people who used to go sailing together, meet once a month. It's a lovely way to have social, it's a yeah. lovely rhythm of social contact. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to have a boat to have an excuse no. to meet up, Mum. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah.